So what is up you guys, Matt here, and today what we're gonna be doing is another episode on the Splash Pad series. We're gonna be building a manifold for the fixtures and the nozzles to spray the water. And yeah, so let's get right into that. So we laid out all the components needed to build the solenoid manifold and we'll go briefly over what all this is and that's why he's here. So let's get right into that. For our manifolds, we decided to use Schedule 80 PVC. We went with that because it's stronger than your standard Schedule 40. However, you could get away with using the Schedule 40, which is the, your typical white PVC pipe you see in Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, so other than the normal fittings and valves, uh, we'll get into the mechanicals, which is the Irotrol solenoid manifold valves. Uh, what these do is when you put electric onto them, they open up and your water will flow through. And then when you let go, shut the electric off, it stops, and which is what our controller will uh, be triggering uh, for our splash pad. And then we have a hammer arrestor. What this will do is, because you're actuating all these solenoids repeatedly, what sometimes can happen if this isn't here, you get a hammering effect with your water. What this will do is, because it's like a shock absorber, it'll prevent that from happening, which would could damage the whole manifold. Um, and then, for assembly, what we're gonna use is a clear PVC primer and a clear PVC glue. And I went with clear because uh, it's more aesthetically pleasing. So in the pool room, you're not gonna have your blue uh, glues and primers running down it. It'll, it'll look nice and neat. And then we just have some Teflon tape, which will thread into our solenoid valves. We got the lower section of the manifold laid out. This is what we're gonna start with the assembly. And uh, I'm not sure if I previously mentioned, but this is the manifold that's gonna control all the uh, uh, ground nozzles, the spray nozzles that are flush with the ground, which is why it has the solenoids on it. So we're gonna assemble this whole unit and then we're gonna build the top part and then finish the lower half. Um, so let's get right into it. So now what is the first step that we gotta do to start this? Well, let's uh, pull out our primer. And it's a typical PVC application. If, if you've done PVC before, you've used a primer and a glue. You just want to liberally put it on both halves. And then, wait a second, and then you add a little bit of glue. Make sure it's inside and on the outside of this. And then you push the pieces together and give it a slight twist at the same time and it'll lock up. How long does it take for uh, that to dry normally? It sets up pretty quick. Um, you don't want to put water on it at least for 24 hours. Oh, okay. But the assembly of this should go fairly quick and it's just a bunch of glue and parts. So we are finally back and it's been, I don't know how long, I guess there will be a time on the screen or- An hour and a half, two hours, I think. And I'm, my fingers are covered with glue. So we're, we don't have it fully together um, because we got, kind of got to let the glue dry for the yeah, most part. We'll let, we we'll let the glue on. set up and then we have to blow the pipes out because of the glue debris and the cut debris from cutting it before we hook up the solenoids because we don't want anything to clog mm -hmm. up the valves. Yeah, and this is another thing that you should take into consideration. Like, is it worth the four or $500 that you save by putting it together? Because we only built this one so far. The other ones are smaller, correct? Yeah, the next one's gonna so, be smaller, but we're running out of time tonight to do it, I think. Yeah, so. it's like, a, it's almost midnight right now. So we'll, uh, we'll finish with this one, come back tomorrow, finish putting this together and cleaning it up and then We'll put the other one together. Yeah, so we will see you guys 
in a split of a second. So welcome back guys. It is now day two and what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be cleaning all the glue spots out because uh, you don't want any debris going through this into the solenoids because isn't there like just a small part yeah, that there's just a, chunk up? there's a small orifice in those. So when you fire up your system originally, there's gonna be all this debris shavings and stuff if you don't clean it out the best you can. And what can happen is they'll go through and they'll follow the path and then they'll clog up the solenoids, which is another reason why the solenoids will be on unions for maintenance purposes, cleaning because over time they will start getting clogged up and you'll lose your uh, water pressure and you have to clean them. Sometimes so repair the O-rings. Right, so then you can just replace one of these. Or you can replace it. Yeah. And replace everything, like yep. if one were to break. Yep, yep, yep. Which is pretty good. Um, what else do we have going on in this video? Well, we're cleaning out all the dried glue since everything's all dried up now. Um, getting getting those out. Uh, we're gonna finish assembling the, this manifold. We're, we got the Teflon tape. You gotta put Teflon tape on all your threads. Uh, connect those up to the solenoids and just finish the build out on this. It shouldn't take that long actually. All right, so we're gonna get to the cutting process and clean up all this stuff and then we'll probably jump back in. So we'll see you guys in a second. So we were just messing and cleaning up all these things and we figured we'd test to make sure these all work because there's a risk at gluing the, what is that, like the ball shut? The connections, yeah. Yeah, and my brother was actually trying this one and then it broke. I mean, my dad broke it, but that's just completely glued shut. So you gotta also, I guess, just be careful. I mean, I don't know how you would really watch out for it unless just don't use as much glue, but then if you don't use as much glue, you run the risk of it leaking, so. so. We'll pick up a new shut off and a union and uh, fix that off camera. Yeah, well I figured we just put that in the video real quick so you guys can uh, also see our fails in this. <laughs> so now we'll be back after we get all this pressure cleaned out. All right, that's it I think. Well, we finally got done and put it all together for the most, I mean, well yeah, it's pretty much put together how it's gonna be. Except for this. Yeah, so that's broke. Um, so, this is what the final product's gonna be like. I'll let you go in into the specifics of it all because I don't know that. Well, we'll run through it real quick. Um, the way it's set up, your, your uh, water line from your filter will be coming in this way. Um, you got your water hammer here for when the valves turn on and off real quick to prevent any type of vibration or anything like that. So water will flow, you'll get your pressure going both directions. So um, instead of, because if it was just coming straight down, it would starve from the water pressure. So the water pressure equalizes come in both directions and it'll go to your valves through the solenoids. Um, and then we're running, I'm not sure if we mentioned this, but we're running two nozzles per solenoid. So that'll give us our 12 nozzles. Um, and then this bigger one over here, this is gonna be for our Sidewinder fixture, which we're gonna build in another video. And um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, like I mentioned earlier, these unions are here to clean and repair your solenoids if you need to. Uh, we got the debris out of here pretty good, so I think we're, we're pretty good other than I gotta get a new union and, uh, and shut off valve for that one that we yeah. broke. And I mean, in reality, it wasn't too hard to build. Like, I mean, once you get your measurements down, that's kind of the hardest part in reality, right? Measurements and wait for glue out. to dry. Yeah. And, uh, and then... As long as you don't break anything. And not gluing things yeah. you're not supposed to glue. But it wasn't, it wasn't too long to do. Um, it took us two days to do, in reality. Um, is there anything else that we actually are going to be doing left? Or is this basically what it's gonna be like for the most part until we actually pressure test it, which for, we can't do. Well, right for this, this is all we're doing until we get the splash pad hooked up and connected to it. And then we're gonna pressure test everything once it's, once we get everything connected up, which uh, will be there shortly, hopefully, yeah, and uh, get everything connected up. That's what we're waiting for. Which will be sweet. So 
in reality, if you guys are enjoying this series, feel free to hit the like or subscribe. If you have any questions about anything that we're doing in any of these videos, feel free to leave a comment. I mean, my, me or my dad will leave a comment. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and peace.